my name's Molly and I'm here today to read you a very special story. Make yourself comfy and we're going to read Is It Time For Bed Yet? When Millie finished her dinner, the first thing she said was, Is it time for bed yet? Why Millie asked her dad, Why do you want to go to bed so early? Usually you want to stay up as late as you can. Usually you find reasons not to go to bed. Not tonight, said Millie. Tonight I want to hurry up and go to sleep so that tomorrow will be here sooner. Tomorrow is the day that Grandpa is going to take me fishing. That's true, said Millie's dad. But it seems very early to go to bed unless you are tired. Are you tired, Millie? No, said Millie, but Grandpa said I have to get up very early in the morning. I will make myself tired. So Millie did 20 jumping jacks and she touched her toes 30 times. Boys and girls, let's all see if we can do 20 jumping jacks. Are you ready? All right, boys and girls, let's do our 20 jumping jacks. Make sure you're standing. We're gonna do them all together. Let's go. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten 10 more, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Wow, good job everyone. All right, let's take a seat and get comfy. Do you think I'm tired yet? Millie asked her dad. I don't know, he said. Only you know if you're tired, Millie. Maybe I could have my bath now, said Millie. Sometimes a bath makes me feel very sleepy. All right, said Millie's dad and he filled the bath with warm water. Millie's dad helped her wash her back and her head and behind her ears while Millie splashed and played with bubbles and washed her face. When Millie was all dry, her dad helped her put on her pajamas. Now do I look tired, Millie asked. You look like a little girl who's ready for bed, said dad. As Millie climbed into bed, she said, I have a wonderful idea. I will eat my breakfast now and then get dressed in my going fishing clothes and sleep in them. Then when Grandpa comes to get me in the morning, I'll be ready to go. Millie's dad laughed. No, Millie, he said, that is not a wonderful idea. If you eat your breakfast now, you'll be very hungry again in the morning and you will be very uncomfortable sleeping in your jeans and gum boots. Oh, said Millie sadly. Millie's dad tucked her in and said, Lie there quietly and listen while I tell you a story about the time my grandpa took me fishing when I was a little boy. So Millie's dad told her how he and his grandpa rode a little boat on the beautiful lake. He told her about hearing birds singing in the early morning and about seeing silver coloured fish jumping and splashing in the water. As Daddy told the story, the sun sank slowly. The long evening shadows stretched across the room. Millie closed her eyes. Soon she was asleep and dreaming about the silver-coloured fish splashing in the water on a beautiful silent lake. Wow, boys and girls, thank you for listening. Now, next we're gonna have some dancing with Millie, my very special friend. So get up and get ready to dance, everyone. All right, boys and girls, here comes my friend Millie. Say hi, Millie. Hi, everyone. How are you, Millie? Are you ready to do some singing and dancing? Now, this story is a bit about bunnies falling out of bed. Do you know this one? I think you do. All right, boys and girls, are you ready? All right, everyone, let's get started. There were five little bunnies jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more bunnies bouncing on the bed. Four little bunnies jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mum called the doctor and the doctor said, no more bunnies bouncing on the bed. Three little bunnies bouncing on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more bunnies bouncing on the bed. Two little bunnies bouncing on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more bunnies bouncing on the bed. One little bunny bouncing on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mum called the doctor and the doctor said, no more bunnies straight to bed. Wow, what a good
good song. Thank you, everyone. Now, do you think you can try it with 20 bunnies or maybe 50 bunnies? I think you guys are clever enough to do it. All right, thank you so much. Bye, everyone.